This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Thursday, May 20th, 2010, bringing you news from aquatic sports around the globe. The U.S. Masters Short Course Yards Nationals began earlier this morning at the pool that hosted the 96 Olympics. Almost a dozen Olympians are at the meet, including Josh Davis, who won three golds at that pool in 1996. Cullen Jones, Nick Brunelli, and Mark Gangloff also attending the meet, which will feature almost 2,000 swimmers, the largest turnout in 10 years. This is likely due to the fact that this will be the last competition for the high-tech suits, which are allowed in Masters short course competition through May 31st. The first event today was the 1,000 free, and four national records were broken. Denise Brown took down one of Laura Val's many records in the 50 to 54 age group, swimming an 11 13 96. Celeste Miller swam a 12 17 18 for a new record in the 60 to 64 age group, and Eric Christensen swam a 9 27 97, setting a new record in the 35 to 39 age group. Keith Switzer swam a 9 43 93, that's a new record in the 45 to 49 age group. The 1653 will also be swum today. We'll let you know about other national records broken at the meet on tomorrow's news. On Monday, we told you about the national high school record in the 50 free by Torrance High School's Vlad Morozov. On Tuesday, Morozov returned to Long Beach and took down Jimmy Feagan's 100 free record as the leadoff swimmer on his team's 400 free relay. He swam a 42.87 breaking Fegan's mark by a couple tenths. We also had reported Monday that Morozov would be attending an a, uh, NAIA school in the fall. We've learned that he'll actually be swimming for Dave Salo at the University of Southern California. We're actually going to talk to Vlad on tomorrow's edition of the Morning Swim Show. We'll talk to him about USC and what it was like to break those records. And finally today, Jason Lezak was a guest judge on last night's episode of Top Chef Masters on the Bravo Cable Network. The episode revolved around creating dishes for a tailgating party. And like any swimmer, Lee Zach liked just about everything that you put in front of him. The episode will rerun on Bravo periodically. And that's it for the news today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.